good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Favi and welcome to Arrows DIY. On my channel, I like to do Dollar Tree DIYs, high-end dupes, their flips, and the occasional trash of treasure. Here's another episode in my Christmas series and I'm super excited to show you some more gingerbread inspiration. This is the part 3 in my gingerbread mini series and I am so excited to show you guys what I've made today. This video is part of the minis challenge hosted by Corey over at Crafted by Corey. I'll leave her link in the description box below as well as the playlist. Alright, so let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to be using this tag sign I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a smaller tag sign, perfect for your tear tray. And I'm also going to be using this word, uh, this wooden words from the fall in, the, in Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut off the word farm using a regular pair of scissors. This wood is very thin, so it's not difficult at all to cut this. However, I do recommend going in the opposite direction once you get to the end, because once you start getting to the middle of that wooden word, it does get kind of tricky. Once that's cut out, I do sand the end the edge there to make it nice and smooth. I don't show you it, but I do that with a sanding block from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to be using Apple Barrel's Flag Red, and I'm going to give this two coats of that red color. Once that's fully painted, I just set it aside, and now we're going to be working on the tag sign itself. With the help of a wide craft stick, I just draw a line there connecting both of those points at the top. Now we're just going to draw a triangle on the bottom portion of the tag sign using the same craft stick. So you just want to trace the same width of the craft stick on all sides of the rectangle. And we're also going to draw two more lines under that first line we drew at the top of the tag sign. So it should look like this. Now, once you have that rectangle drawn at the bottom, we're gonna erase all of the extra lines that we made. And then we're going to give this entire tag sign another coat in the white Adirondack chalk paint color. Once that's fully coated and dry, we're going to paint the inside of the rectangle in this gray color. Now you're free to use any paint, any gray paint you have on hand, but I'm going to share the paints that I use in case you're curious. So the paint that I use is this one by Apple Barrel called Gray Fox. And I just paint the inside of this rectangle. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because I feel that any imperfections in handmade crafts just add to the charm so no worries there we're going to take one of these wooden sticks and they just come off the foam brushes from Dollar Tree we're gonna give that two coats of the white Adirondack chalk paint now I'm gonna use some Mod Podge and a window cling from the Dollar Tree now this window cling pack it is the gingerbread one and I'll show you later in this DIY what that looks like in case you want to pick that up. Now it does have a little bit of glitter around the holly and the berries there, but I don't mind glitter. I like glitter, <laughs> especially for Christmas. So once that's attached there, I give it another coat of Mod Podge on top to seal it. Now I'm going to take these stickers from, I think they're called the pop-up stickers from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut five of them out and give it a good coat, two coats of black paint. I'm just going to set those aside to dry, and once they're dry, we're going to assemble them on this tag sign. So I'm trying to make an oven, so I'm just going to place them where I want them first. I'm not gluing them. They are a little sticky, but not too sticky, so I do have to add some more adhesive to them. I chose to use Aileen's Tacky Glue as my adhesive. However, 
you'll be free to use whatever you'd like. I used Aileen's tacky glue because I wanted to be able to move them around a little bit before um, you know they fully adhered. With hot glue you have one second and I just thought it would get messy with hot glue so I would strongly recommend using Aileen's tacky glue. So I also used that sign as a straight edge to make sure they're all straight but you know you can use a ruler or whatever that was just what I had handy it was right next to me so I just used that now I just use the aliens tacky glue and a little paintbrush and I paint on a little tiny bit of aliens tacky glue and I also wipe off some of the excess with that same brush so once I have those five buttons on there our stove oven is almost done. Now I take some red and white baker's twine and I got this off Amazon. I can link it in the description box below if you like. And um, it came in a two pack for I think about $8. But um, you know, prices change. So, but I got a red and white as well as a green and white. So I really like this baker twine. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a top, a little dot of hot glue at the beginning there, and I'm just gonna twist it and kind of spiral this baker's twine all along this wooden piece here. And I just add a little bit of hot glue in different spots. Now, once it's fully covered, I hot glue it, and this is gonna be the handle of our oven. I just added the baker's twine to give it some interest so that it would pop against the white of this oven. And it kind of adds a little bit more of that Christmas cheer. I don't know. You let me know what you think. So next I'm just going to hot glue the word fresh on there. A little gingerbread dude in the center of that gray rectangle so it kind of looks like he's trying to escape the oven or that he's just freshly made or that he's fresh so now we're just gonna hot glue a gingerbread dude right in the center there of that gray rectangle and I thought it was really cute. Now just to add a little bit more cutesy, I just added some baker's twine to the bottom, just going around three times, as well as um, a little finger book. So very simple to do I hope that makes sense but if you would like a tutorial I could totally make one just for the bow and I wasn't sure where to put this little finger bow once I made it so let me know where, where would you have put this bow because I think it looks cute on all of the different spots <laughs> but I just decided to put it right on top and let me know what you think I think it's adorable. Now I did add some gift wrap, the candy cane stripe gift wrap on the back just to help it look more finished and I did have to pull off the baker's twine for that. But this is the gingerbread, that is the gingerbread window cling. So for DIY number two, we're going to be using this wooden piece. It's kind of like a Christmas tree box thing. I'm not too sure what it is, but I just gave it a coat of the classic caramel color. I gave it one coat in the front, and now I'm going in with this color Kelly Green, and I'm painting the inside of the tree 
in this color. I make sure to paint all of the inside, the whole back of that tree. So once both of the insides of the box are painted in that green color, I gave the outside another coat of that caramel color. Now I'm going to paint the inside sides of the box in this red color, the same flag red color that we used on the oven, on the words of the oven. And I just made sure to go all around that bottom portion, the stand part, and all of the sides. I didn't paint the inside because, well, I figured no one was going to see it and also I wanted to use this piece on my coffee bar, so I think that's fine. Again, you're free to do whatever you like on your project. So now I'm using this 3D fabric paint, uh, puffy paint, in uh, the color shiny white. And I'm just going to trace the little markings on it. So I'm just tracing those markings with this puffy paint. On the other side of this, I just made some of my own designs, whatever I wanted to do. So you're free to do whatever you'd like on your project. But I like the fact it kind of looks like royal icing. And once I finished drawing in these features, I just let this piece set overnight. I also drew the outline of this to make it look like a cookie. And then I added some gingerbread people with hot glue and a yellow star on top. Now for this next DIY I'm using this breadboard from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start using some of this cottage white color and this sponge brush. I take a small amount of paint and I just start dabbing it on one of my friends, uh, Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY, she made a really cool gingerbread DIY on a breadboard and I like the idea so I'm going to try to make something a little different but I like that idea so I'm going to go ahead and just stamp on this breadboard with some white paint and the idea here is just to make it look like powdered sugar. So I'm just going to keep stamping it and yeah. So now I'm going to take a gingerbread person and I'm just going to hold him or her in place. <laughs> I'm going to hold the little gingerbread body in place as I stamp. So I did take a lot more paint and I just stamped all around trying to get into all the nooks and crannies and all the curves of the body. Now, I used a tiny paintbrush, a smaller paintbrush, and I just kind of drew in the form so that you could see the form of the gingerbread a little better. I would recommend using some kind of chalk marker or some acrylic paint marker. I'm in the market for some, so uh, if you could recommend a good brand, I would appreciate it in the comments below. But I'm just going to use what I have, and I have white paint, so <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to draw, draw the silhouette of a little gingerbread body. So once it looks somewhat like a gingerbread body, I'm going to hot glue some of my
but I misplaced my stickers because I was organizing my craft room, which we know the mess always gets worse before it gets better. So now I'm going to go in with this color sequence black and I'm just going to paint all of these letters right after I cut off the little loops. I'm guessing these are for friendship bracelets. So <laughs> I'm just going to cut them off guys. Use whatever you have on hand. I'm trying to craft and use my stash. So just get creative with what you have on hand. If you don't have these, you could totally just use stickers. And that's what I wanted to do originally. If I had found them, I would have used them. So feel free to use stickers or you could even handwrite the message. Now I'm going to take some of this ribbon that I got from Family Dollar and I'm just going to finish off the rest of the breadboard. Just to give it some of that glitter, Christmas cheer. Um, the first DIY had some glitter so I wanted a little bit of glitter in all of the DIYs today and I just wrap it around the the rectangle portion of this breadboard I guess and I use Gorilla hot glue if you're wondering I use Gorilla hot glue for all of my projects and this is a high temperature detail tip glue gun and it's really cool for little finicky projects like this and this is how it came out now I'm just gonna put in the letters they're not fully dry because I don't have enough patience to wait for that so don't mind my fingers <laughs> and I do touch up these letters after I glue them on I do touch up the letters so I'm just gonna put the letters hot glue them in position and I'm gonna spell out the phrase you can't catch me because I figured my kids would love that so if you're new around here my name is Fatty and I love making fun budget-friendly home decor on a budget so if you're still here I would recommend maybe hitting that subscribe button and becoming friends because I have a whole lot of home decor ideas always on a budget so now I have these from the Dollar Tree and they're just like these Christmas truck, farmhouse truck, wooden pieces. And I'm going to give them the same color, the classic caramel color. I'm sorry. I don't know what I said before, but it's classic caramel. The color is classic caramel, and I'm going to paint this truck in that color. This is the same color I used on the gingerbread people this time, as well as any... Oh, the Christmas tree from the last DIY as well. Now I'm going to go in with the same Kelly green color and I'm going to paint this Christmas tree. Fairly straightforward. I also paint the wheels in white and once that was dry, I go in with this flag red color and I'm just going to make them look like candy, like peppermint candies. I did order some peppermint candies online from Amazon and I can link them here below if you don't want to paint these if you don't want to paint this feature on your wheels you could totally just use an actual peppermint bead I used it in my last video but I do use one of those beads in this in the trunk of this truck so right under You'll see it in a second. I also chose to distress the truck a little bit in this black paint because I wanted the gingerbread dude to kind of pop out. I didn't want him to just mix in with the truck. So I felt like the distressing kind of separated him from the truck. And also, I wanted him to look like a little rebel. So I guess a little dirty gingerbread truck would help with that rebel nature of all of these gingerbread people today <laughs> if you haven't noticed I have a theme going through all of these gingerbread DIYs today and they're all mischievous risk-taking troublemaking gingerbread so I hope you have fun with these DIYs if you do try them and um, I certainly had fun making them so now I after much deliberation, I chopped 
this gingerbread dude in half so that he looks like he's popping out the window. And I'm gonna take one of these glitter bow stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put it at the top of this Christmas tree. Now this is the peppermint bead I was talking about earlier and I'm just gonna take one and put it in the trunk so it looks like he's driving away with all the Christmas goodies. And then once I was done with all that stuff, I just put a little bit of hot glue on the window and then just hot glued him there like so. Now he was a little heavy compared to the wood piece itself so I had to add some hot glue behind him as well and I just waited for that all to dry before I hot glued it to the breadboard. But I think it's super cute. Oh, that's right. I also took some of these beads. This is just a little decoration from an ornament. It was the deer ornament from Dollar Tree. The Christmas tree deer. I just took it off the neck of the deer and ripped off the beads. So if you don't have this specific one, you feel free to use any bead you have on hand that's about the same size or just use that peppermint bead in the trunk and just put it on the wheels and then put something else in the trunk. You could put some gifts, you could put, I don't know, anything you want, some faux snow, you could put some, like a spoon, anything you want to put in the trunk. It, I mean, feel free to do whatever you like on your project, but this is how this one came out and I'm just going to hot glue it to the back of this breadboard, just using a little bit of hot glue. So that's how it came out. Let me know what you think about this DIY in the comments below. And I hope you're enjoying this video. <laughs> I love bringing unique home decor, fun home decor. So I hope you're enjoying these ideas. I hope you're finding something different, learning something new, maybe getting an inspired by something today so once everything was attached I said I didn't lie I touched up <laughs> all of the black paint so I just touch up all the black paint and I used a small paintbrush for that and I actually had to do it one more time after this but uh, it's important to use the folk art paint I'm using the sequence black color because it has a little bit of glitter in it and that's like my new favorite black color right now it's called sequin black by folk art and that's how it turned out and I think it's so cute but you guys gotta let me know what you think about it in the comments below now this next DIY is fairly simple it's our last DIY today so if you're still here thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you're having fun watching this. Now I took these mug color your yourself ornaments and this glue, this wood glue is like a zillion years old. But anyways, I had to do some work to get to the glue. So I just used a foam brush and I painted on the wood glue. And basically we're just gonna paint, we're just gonna stick all of these wood pieces together kind of making one solid mug piece and it does stand on its own so just make just do a really good job make sure that you apply the wood glue evenly and that you press firmly and that you know it's level at some sort like just make sure it lines up when you stick it together and I let it dry overnight so it did take a little bit but I think it's totally worth it this would be really cute at the end of a garland as well for your tear tray if you wanted to do that now what I like about using the wood glue as opposed to the hot glue is that you do have time to wiggle it around so if you don't get the perfect position the first time you could totally just wiggled it around until you know it's in this in the perfect spot and I just do this for the whole deck the whole
bunch of wood pieces. I just hot glue them together. It's very simple. Now once I have that solid piece glued together, I wipe off any excess wood glue around the edges and then I just clamp them together with these tiny little clamps from Dollar Tree. And they don't, don't, you don't have to worry about it making any dents in your wood because they're very gentle. They have that grip and um, yeah, so I left it there overnight. So once that was fully dried, I took off the clamps and now it's the fun part. We're going to paint and decorate it and make it super cute. So I'm going to start off with this color, the same flag red color, and um, we're going to paint. I'm not sure what happened to my camera, but I just paint the whole thing red and I give it two coats. Sorry about the blurriness. Technology. I don't know. I cannot explain it. But this is what I did. So now once that was fully dry, I flipped it over and I'm going to give the other side a coat in this same Kelly green color. So same thing. Just uh, I was trying to do something else, but like I said, I couldn't find my stickers. So I just had to paint over the entire thing and it worked out pretty well. Um, but you know, like in crafting, if something happens, you don't, your plan A doesn't work, you just move on to plan B and it's totally fine. So I took this snowflake from Dollar Tree, just a wood piece, and I painted it in white. Now I took half of the gingerbread body from my first <laughs> gingerbread video. I promised I would use the other half of his body, so here I am using the other half of his body and I just hot glued it to cover that hole on the top. I'm using the same 3D fabric paint in white shiny and I'm just going to cover the top of this mug so that it looks like whipped cream. So it kind of looks like this little gingerbread dude is taking a dive into a nice warm mug of hot cocoa. And I think it's so cute. So you let me know in the comments down below if you would try this DIY and if you like it. Tell me all the things you're thinking in the comment section below because I love hearing what you guys think. And this is very simple to do. Now, keep in mind that when this 3D puffy paint dries, it is no longer as puffy as it was when you first applied it. So my sweet friend Maddie from Artsy Maddie she made puffy paint, 3D puffy paint on her own. So I'll link the video where she discusses how to make that puffy paint and I strongly recommend you check out her channel because she's incredibly talented. But um, she makes her own puffy paint and I don't want to give away her technique, <laughs> but I probably <laughs>
to use a girl or a boy for the other side, but I just went with the girl because I feel like, I feel like I, I want to be that girl. She's taking a bath in hot chocolate and whipped cream. I mean, so I couldn't decide whether to use the girl gingerbread or the boy gingerbread. I ended up just using the girl gingerbread. You know, you use whatever you'd like on your project. But uh, I'm just going to glue her like that. And at this point, I didn't know that the puffy paint was going to deflate on me. So, um, and also I was running low on the 3D paint at this point after all these DIYs. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to have to pick up some puffy paint as well as some wood glue. But anyways, I um, went ahead and I just used the puffy paint all the way around. Now as I let this dry, my toddler broke into my craft space and he totally destroyed this. And I didn't have enough puffy paint to fix it. So you'll see in the final reveal that, you know my DIY is a little wonky and I was gonna fix it but then I'm like you know what it's fine it'll just serve as a memory of my little mischievous toddler with these mischievous troublemaking gingerbread so I, I what I'm saying is I, I feel like it's fitting it's totally fine so as you can see I just put the puffy paint all over just make make it look like she's happy taking a bath and some whipped cream and there you see he just my son just completely took off the whipped cream but it's still cute and it'll make me smile on my tear tray which is the important part anyways those are all my DIYs today let me know which one was your favorite let me know in the comments below if you love gingerbread as much as I do <laughs> Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. And, uh, these are adorable. I love these so much. I think my favorite might be the oven. Just because I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, and this Christmas tree is so cute as well. Oh my goodness, I love gingerbread. And this wraps up another episode of my Christmas series. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you watching and spending part of your day with me. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe so you never miss a video. Thank you so much, friends. Take care, God bless, and catch you on the next one.